Hello, how are you getting on? Um, I have a bit of an important topic to cover. I'm up here chilling out in the bed in the middle of the day. Um, why the fuck not? Yeah, I have Christmas covers on the bed. I'm off season. Couldn't give a fuck. Um, actually, you still have a welcome mat with a picture of Santi on it downstairs as well. Come after me if you want, but be prepared to scrap. Um, anyway, on to the important issue I wanted to discuss. When did wealthy men over the age of 50 in Ireland uh, start wearing exclusively pink shirts when they're out? I feel it kind of snuck up on me. Um, wasn't the case a couple of years ago, but I feel like kind of overnight, the quintessential show of opulence became, you're a man over 50, you have the belly hanging out over the jeans, and you have a somewhat expensive pink shirt on you, and it might have a couple of stripes on it. I was thinking about it last night, I was doing a gig, um, and I looked out into the crowd of people. To, to a group of 50-year-old men, um, who fair and wide had no relation to each other, but were all wearing essentially the same shirt. And I just want to say, is this going on in other countries? I felt it was an important topic just to raise. And nobody else is out there doing the graft like I'm doing and now coming up with the important issues. Anyway, follow me, I'm delicious. Actually, um, I'm going to continue this video on just because I thought of something else. Um, this is going to be a completely random divergence. Uh, I couldn't give a fuck about a TikTok having one uh, issue or not. Um... I have a shelf above uh, my bed, and I'm, I have actually two. There's another one up there. Um, and it's always annoyed me. I don't really see... Th so, and this is the way the house was when I got it. So somebody said, I'm going to put a shelf above the bed. What am I meant to put on that? Because it's not handy to get to the shelf. Because I have to kind of kneel on the bed and go up to the shelf. So it couldn't be something I have to be after all. So I suppose I could decorate it, perhaps, with literature. Um... But then, kind of, I run into the issue where, uh, you know, if there's an earthquake, it's unlikely, okay? It's unlikely there'll be an earthquake. It's unlikely there'll be a twister in, in Ballina County, Mayo. It's unlikely. But, listen, you have to plan. You never know what way things could go. I couldn't put something heavy up there. And, to be honest with you, I couldn't even really put something moderately heavy up there. Because, even a book, if there's an earthquake happening and it takes me by surprise, I have enough going on than to be worrying about getting hit with a lot of books I put up on that shelf. So what do I put on the shelf? I haven't a clue. I'm not going to take it down. I'm just going to leave it there. But it's annoyed me that it's there. Um, and hopefully it's annoyed you. There's two of them that I am that I should do something with. And you know what? There's places in the house that could do with a fucking shelf. <laughs> and they're not there. Um, so yeah, I'm sickened with that anyway. If you're still watching this, fair play to you. Um, you've probably got more for doing to be honest you should probably if you're at the point where you've watched this entire video you should come off tiktok and go and garden or something because uh, do something